So I was very lucky to be chosen as one of eight Premier's Anzac Prize 2016 winners and it was such a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to represent not only my school but the whole of Queensland and the Premier going overseas to Turkey and France and basically getting to relive the journey which the Anzacs took in World War One. Well, we got there at 11.30 at night, so I was very tired and cold. I didn't end up sleeping, I was too excited, obviously. Um, about four o'clock, we moved into the actual stands at the seats, and we were just waiting for the service to begin. Seeing the sunrise and the sphinx, you just couldn't believe it when you were there. Just as dawn broke, I remember I looked over to the back and saw the sphinx, and it was the most amazing thing. Like, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. There was just, it was that moment I kind of, I think I really felt something. The cemeteries where we commemorated soldiers, I had two soldiers I commemorated, two at Villas Bretonneux. That was very emotional. I couldn't even get through my eulogy. It was just, I was bothering the whole entire time. The aim of the prize is all about maintaining the Anzac spirit, getting young people to experience what our Anzacs experienced and to actually have an experience that lots of people don't get to have in Australia, which is to go overseas to Turkey and to the Western Front and to actually see where our soldiers battled. We seem um, sometimes can be a bit removed, especially our teenagers, and it's really good and I think it brought home for, the, for our kids how real it was that young men and women their age and not much older went overseas and for many of them never returned. So I think it's always going to be an important part of our nationhood and our identity and how we became the Australia that we are. It's a lot different when you're there. It's just bringing those picture books just into reality. You're actually realising the sacrifice. It just changed your perception. It really does.